Welcome back to the DYS F4 video series. Look in the description for a link to the playlist. Now it's time to wire this thing into our multi rotors. In this video, I'm only going to cover how to wire it into the ESCs and get everything powered. The next video will be wiring in your camera and video transmitter, powering it, setting everything up in Betaflight, and showing you a few tips and tricks. Wiring this into your multi rotor is actually going to be exactly like the Betaflight F3 flight controller if you did watch that video but I'm giving you guys this video anyway just in case you are curious of what it looks like once it is installed. So what I've done so far is I have my four standoffs already mounted into my frame. I am holding these bolts in with the four nylon nuts. You may not want to use nuts. You may want to use the taller standoffs. Something like this perhaps because uh, whenever you install this you have to keep in mind you have to be able to have access to the USB port which is located right here. So once I push this all the way down you will see that we don't have much room for the USB cable at all. That's fine for me though because I'm using a uh, USB cable that I've modified. I just shaved down the rubber to make it very thin and I can still access that USB uh, through this cable. I just wanted the really low profile and look to it so that's why I'm mounting it so low. I've also gone ahead and taken the XC60 connector and pigtail that comes with the flight controller. I shortened it to the length that I wanted and soldered it on. We have power on the right side, ground on the left side. For my next step, I actually plan on uh, running the main ground and power wires from the flight controller to the ESCs on the bottom side of the board. Because uh, if you didn't notice, you can do it from either top or bottom, it's up to you. I'm going to do it from the bottom once again just to keep that low profile, keep my wires closer to the frame because if they, uh, the higher they stick up, the greater chance you have of a tree limb or a branch or something ripping them off the pads. Normally I would wire the power and ground wires to the ESCs first and then the flag controller on traditional flag controllers, but because the PDB is built into this and because I plan on using the bottom side, I will actually measure out my wires and solder them onto the bottom first. With the flight controller mounted in place, I have measured out some wires and I cut them out a little bit longer than what I have predicted because it's better to be a little bit longer than too short. Now going by the writing, on top of the flight controller, uh, we've got the power wire here, negative here, negative power, power negative, negative power. Except, like I said, I'm going to be wiring this into the bottom side of the flight controller. Alright, I've got my wires on. The reason I have them run like this is because on this frame, this flight controller is pretty close to the rear and I didn't want them going out the back. So pretty much these are going to loop around and then go to the ESCs. The reason I have these at an angle is because I actually have this flight controller mounted on another AUK210 just like this one, which we have here. And uh, for me to get the camera angle that I wanted to, the wires were in the way of the camera so that's why I put them at an angle. So you may have to play around with your wires and figure out exactly where you want them and uh, it may take a few tries but you'll figure out what you like the best. So now what I'm going to do is with the flight controller mounted in place I will bend my wires and cut them to the exact length that I want making them nice clean and tidy. Okay I think I've got it looking pretty good wires are nice and short, clean looking. What I'm going to do now is uh, measure out some of the signal wires and the small ground wires and run them to the fly controller. These wires will be going to these small pads. The uh, signal wire goes to the pad towards the inside on all four corners and the ground wire is the outside pad on all four corners. Okay, got the signal wires and the small ground wires run to the fly controller. This should give you a better idea of what I was talking about. The signal wires go on the inside, ground wires on the outside. Another tip I have is I wrap my signal and ground wires around my main negative wire two to three times. This will prevent them from being ripped off the pads whenever you crash through tree branches because they tend to snag the wires. Also if you are going to wrap them around a main wire, do it around the ground wire because if you wrap them around the power wire that will affect the signal. And the last thing I'm going to do is add in a capacitor. Uh, you don't have to do this. I am still a... I'm not going to say I'm a non-believer, but the way I see it, it doesn't hurt. 
I don't know if it helps, but it doesn't hurt, so I'm going to put one on. This one is rated for 35 volts and 470 microfarads, and it's also low ESR, which you can see right there. With the capacitor soldered in place, I placed a zip tie on it just to help uh, keep it from breaking off. One tip I do have though is, like I said in my review, if these main battery leads rip off of the fly controller, it's going to rip the pads off with it and then this fly controller is going to be trash because you can't repair pads that size. So if you want, you can find some uh, standoffs the correct size and actually solder the capacitor on the bottom and this way uh, a lot of frames they'll actually have two holes in the bottom to where you can run a zip tie through there and with the capacitor underneath the battery leads you can zip tie everything to the frame and this will prevent the XT60 and main battery lead from ripping off of the fly controller and that would save your fly controller. Uh, I didn't want to spend the time because I, I guess you could say I'm lazy. I'm, I'm a risk taker I guess uh, but that's just one last tip I have. So that's going to do it for this video. Everything is all wired up for power. The next video will be how to wire in a camera, video transmitter, power it, and set everything up in Betaflight. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.